Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we've got one system from the user, where is he, the user Drem in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending in this system. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us. So, workshop, it should be in here already set up. Where are we? Subscribed, let's have a look, see there it is there. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So this is the Rishtara system. This is the Rishtara system. It's 1,132 light years away from our solar system. Okay. Cool. So where are we? Oh, we're very far out here. Oh, the planet's called Far Out as well. Right. Oh, big distance. Okay. So the star itself. It's 10 AU in radius. So that's the size of Stifferson. Biggest star ever found currently. As of making this video. So, okay, that's a huge, huge thing then. Okay, cool. First of the planets, we have got Scorched, a super hot magma world. And oh, yes, that is burning hot. Oh, there's little asteroid moons as well. Hey, so what we can do here is. Oh, I know, we're going to land on it. Let's land on it. Get a view of it all together. Uh, disable the. Get a view of everything here. Yeah, yeah. Surface of asteroid, planet, star. Awesome stuff there. Uh, okay. That's got a lot of little... It was like, like a space engine system with all those little glowing moons um, around it. If we just switch all that off. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Right, next up we have got... Hang on, where's the... Did I close the menu? Oi. I think I closed the menu. Oh, no, no, no. We need that. Let's go again. Yeah, I kind of need the menu to read. So, where are we going? Right, don't press the close button. <laughs> right, so. We just did Scorched. Next up, we have got Charred. Okay. Down here. Charred. So, there it is there. Okay. A pretty hot gas giant, which has charred colour top and bottom layer, as well as a very middle hot layer. Okay. Got some moons on it as well. Nice. All generic looking moons. Okay. I feel like a planet this close would be hotter than 33 degrees. So we'll have to run the simulation at the end and see how hot everything gets. Uh, next up we've got heat. A Mars-like rocky planet of a desert moon. And it has desert as its moon. There you go. It says both of the objects there. Cool, cool. Next up is... So we've got the Asteroid Belt. The Asteroid Belt has, a mining, it has many mining sites for Dysonium, Lithium and Iron. Very nice. Next up we've got Temperate. A Hatable Gas Shine. It has aerial life and a gas moon which orbits, which also has its own rings. Okay. Has one moon there as well. It's like like the set of the green greener green planet there, and then it has its moon here with its own set of rings. Nice. Oh yeah, looking good. Okay, moving on. So we got grey over here. A barren rock with one moon that has lava lakes from its proximity to grey, which is there. So that's lava. Okay, cool, cool. Right, next up we've got Aqua. An, uh, an oceanic that is extremely hot. It is rumoured to have underwater monsters, but has yet to be confirmed. It has a yellow moon. Oh, that's like Io's texture. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's cool. It says Aqua. It's an all ocean world, as we can see. Alrighty. Next up, we have got Red Desert. A desert with red sand. Pretty boring. I mean, it has a cool surface texture. Got some craters on it as well. Has a moons, two moons. There's your Mars equivalent. It's got two little asteroid moons. Next up, we've got Terrestrial. Terrestria, another planet with a multicellular life. It's an Earth like planet, it has one moon, Orcelet. There you go. Nice. City lights as well. 
Cool, cool. And then uh, one moon. Excellent. Right, next up we have got Lost. This planet wouldn't have been found if its moon wasn't white. Oh, hang on, where are we? Uh... Oh, no, we skipped one. No, no, we, we need to go to Oceana first. An old ocean world like Aqua, but without a moon. Okay, cool. Right, now moving on to Lost. So it wouldn't have been found if it wasn't for its light moon. Or lighter coloured moon. So, here it is. So I'm guessing the planet's really dark and the moon's really bright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see that easily. Yeah. Still getting sunlight. It's just the planet's very dark. Cool. Right, next up we have got... Oh, big jump here. Forgotten. This planet is also hard to find because it's very dark, but its gas moon, Angela, helped find its discovery. There it is. Nice yellow and white. Oh, and yeah, that stands out a lot more than its parent planet. Okay. Next up, we got Galassia. A frozen, boring planet. So there it is there. It's all remote, very remote area. How far are we from the star now? 0 0.3, almost 0 0.4 light years away. So, you know, that's, almost, that's a pretty big deal. Big system, this is. Froster. A beautiful ice giant with massive rings. The rings are made up of ice and white quartz rocks. Oh, look at the rings. Oh, fancy stuff. Look at that. And it matches the planet colour. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Look at them. Look at that. Fantastic stuff. So there's Froster. Next up, we've got Sander. A big, cold, arid desert planet. Be a very cold desert as well. So there it is there. And then lastly, we have got Far Out. The last planet, a very dark brown rock. It's super cold and has one moon. Red deserter. So that's what we started out when we opened the simulation. So there they are there. It's a red deserter. Still receiving sunlight. Look at that. And then the parent planet, very, very dark. Let's open it on the menu. And yeah, just a very dark planet. 1.21 light years and it's still receiving sunlight. What the heck? That's mad. Hope you like the system. Bye. <laughs> okay. Right, so before we finish though, first we'll get a lineup for everyone. So obviously enormous star. Love those rings. Uh, we'll delete the particles actually so we can run the simulation. So here's everyone. That's my favourite planet there, Froster. I really like the Froster. That's cool. Okay. You know, I like it so much, I may get a little cheeky save of that, actually, if you don't mind. Maybe I'll use it in a system in the future or something. Be yeah, nice. It's just it's simple, but it's nice. So, there you go. Right, what I want to do, though, is I want to press play. I'm going to let the simulation run. I want to see how hot these planets get, because I'm very convinced that those inner planets should be hotter than what they were. So, let's have a look. Charred. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew this charred one would be hotter than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! This one, fragments. What's going on here? Heat. Yeah, that's increasing. Let's just go to maximum speed. As fast as we can go. 700 degrees. Almost 2,000 there. The closest planet's. The closest planet's actually a little cooler than the second planet by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Uh, temperate life, 66 degrees. Gray, 207. Aqua, 160. The water world, 160 degrees. 166. Uh, red desert, 60. Only 64. Uh, terrestrial, the life planet, 55 degrees at the life. Oh no, look, it's lost its screen. They must have the um, vegetation on. Yeah, the vegetation's died off. Look, oh, it's lost its green. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, it's been pretty beaten up by the star there. Ooh. Okay. The zone. Where is the zone? Uh, that's in the green. Uh, next planet out is the Oceana. 50 degrees there. So even that one is pretty far. That's in the green. Next planet out is Lost, which isn't even in the zone. Okay, so everything out to Oceana, that's all in the temperature. And everyone else is very darked out. Okay. Yeah. So everyone's got very, very hot from that. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system, guys. So if you enjoyed it, Make sure to press that like button down below. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video as well. Subscribe for more helps in our journey to 30,000 subscribers as we are less than um, 500 people away now, guys. Let's see if we can grab that before the end of August. That would be absolutely amazing. That's our little goal, 30k by August. And, yeah, again, a massive thank you to the user Drem for sending this system in. 
And with that all said and done, guys, make sure you stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.